We're currently in Abbasan, in the city of Khan Yunis. The destruction is massive. We have been talking to people and we have been going to them with them to their houses. They're saying that there is nothing left. And the only reason why people are not going back to their houses is for two main reasons. The first reason is there's no infrastructure, there's no electricity and there's no water. Like even if they want to put and set up their tent here, everywhere is rubble and rocks and it needs very big and huge equipments to clean up the area for them to put their tents. And the second thing is that they do not trust the Israeli forces to invade Khan Yunis once again, just like they did in the north uh, of the Gaza city in uh, Gaza, where they stormed uh, Al Shifa hospital after they withdraw uh, from the area. As you see, people are coming back, trying to take whatever is left uh, from their houses, some clothes, some linens, some blankets. As you see, the streets are completely demolished. The infrastructure have been severely damaged and everyone is telling us they do not recognize their houses. They do not recognize their areas where these neighborhoods have been completely bombed and, 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 and like flattened to the ground. The people and the residents of Khan Yunis are all very frustrated. They're all very depressed from the amount of destruction in their city. They're saying that they can't go back to their houses because there's simply no houses. If the house was not bombed, it's burned. If it's not burned, it's partially damaged. And despite the Israelis' withdrawal from this area, they're still homeless and displaced. This is Hindal Khudri, Al Jazeera, Abbasan, Khan Yunis. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.